As they finally love each other, it means Guwan will become weaker as he becomes more like a human. That's why he mentioned that his feelings for her will make him insignificant and weak. But he doesn't mind it because she is his fate that he can't defy. Based on that, Guwan and Dohi are destined to be together. Talking about destiny, they were also meant to meet from the start because the matchmaker got the hotel name wrong for Dohi to meet Wusun. Which led her to meet Guwan instead. This indicates that the roulette wheel has begun spinning, as Zukyo mentioned earlier. Also, Dohi picked the Wheel of Fortune card, which symbolizes a reunion. The meaning of this card and what Zukyo mentioned before is the same, their fortune may repeat itself under heaven's plan, but the direction in which it moves depends on man's will and wit. So they can't blame fate since the roulette wheel has begun spinning, and all that's left is their choices. Additionally, the word demon itself means to share the same fate. This is evident in what happened to Dohi and Guwan when Guwan's tattoo transferred to Dohi. From there, they share the same fate because they need each other to protect one another. Besides that, on the Wheel of Fortune card, there is the Roman numeral X, which symbolizes completion, representing both an end and a new beginning. Based on this, Dohi and Guwan could have a happy ending. The day when his tattoo transferred to Dohi happened on the day of the full moon. They were fated to meet by the full moon, and from episode 8, it was shown that it is already a half moon. Full moons occur every 29.5 days, suggesting that Guan might be able to get his tattoo back sooner. If that happens, Guan might regain his full power, making him a complete demon. However, demons exist for the sake of deals, and if he fails to make new deals or meet the expiration date, it could lead to spontaneous combustion. In such a scenario, Guan would become a complete demon again, and his feelings towards Dohi could slowly disappear. Yet, we also know that demons originally existed among humans and served as their guardians. Considering this, as Guan always uses his power to protect Dohi, there is a chance he might be able to become human again by fulfilling his duty. Additionally, before they became demons, they were humans chosen by God to do the job. And, as Dohi mentioned before, Guan is chosen because he possibly fits the job, not because he was anything special. It looks like Guan is chosen because he made a contract with a demon before and experienced hell. In my opinion, as he can recall the feeling of his fingertips burning, it means he experienced it before. It could be his memory when he was a human, similar to how Bakku remembers his past when he went to hell before. To add on, every one of Guan's dreams is about the time when he was a human. Like how he dreams about a woman he saw when he was a human. In the end, he realizes that the woman he saw is the same as in the painting. I believe the woman is Dohi since they have the same backside, and in the past, she could have been a Korean traditional dancer like Gayong now. Since it is shown in the painting that there are also people playing musical instruments, the same as Gayong's performance. In my opinion, Dohi and Guan could be past lovers, as the card indicates a reunion. Also, the look on Guan's face when he saw her from afar suggests that he has fallen for her. That's probably why Guan created the Sunwall Foundation, where he focuses on supporting traditional artists such as traditional singers and dancers, to preserve his memory when he was human, and to wait for Dohi to reincarnate again. That's also why there is a demon manual book to guide and let him know about his duty, power, and everything about demon. There is also a chance he became a demon to save Dohi as their fortune might repeat itself under heaven's plan. That's why his name when he is a demon is different than when he was human. When he was human, his name was Yison, and now his name is Guwan, which also means salvation. Like the meaning of his name, he always saves Dohi. And since his tattoo is with Dohi, she also helps him to recover. There is a chance that in the end, he will become human again, as his life as a demon will end just as the card symbolizes the end and a new beginning. It is also shown in the introduction of the demon, there is some kind of demon symbol that ends with the Roman numeral 10. And every human contract with a demon also ends with 10, as if in 10 years. As they meet again by heaven's plan, all that is left is their choice to create a happy ending for themselves, which they definitely do by protecting each other, so that no one gets hurt or dies.
I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.